My name is Reverend Karo Kiyama, and these are the thoughts of a shaken pastor. My very first parallel lesson in this journey, both of faith and losing weight, was the need for energy, power. It is impossible to work out if you don't have enough energy. You must ensure that you have the power to stick at it, both mentally and physically, and even emotionally. Because there are times when it will rain and you will not want to go and work out. There are times when the food will be so, and you might not even want to eat it. But the thing is, it's good for you. And so you have to be able to pull within yourself and be able to get that energy. And you know, sometimes in this physical journey, the source of energy is obvious, food. You must be able to make good food choices. And we'll talk about that later. But when it comes to my spiritual life, I've also realized that I need energy. I need energy to be able to endure. I need energy to be able to stick at it. Being a Christian is not easy. You're always pulling against the tide. Just like sometimes I would want to just eat anything or just hang out with people and not have to walk, not have to box, not have to do anything. Just max and relax. But I cannot do that. Others, I'm going to slide back from where I came from. The same way with my faith. There are times I just want to, you know, just not really be so concerned about the choices that I make. But I must be willing to put the work. I must be willing to pull at my power resource. And what's my power resource when it comes to faith? Acts chapter one and verse eight says, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all of Judea, Samaria, and unto the ends of the earth. As a believer, it is totally impossible to be able to live a victorious Christian life without the empowering of the Holy Spirit. Jesus, the Holy Spirit is the one that empowers us. It is only through him that we can be able to be true witnesses in the way that we live, in the way that we talk, in the decisions that we make, so that when the flesh is calling out, you have something that enables you to say no to all forms of unrighteousness. Actually, you don't have something. You have someone that enables you to say no to all forms of unrighteousness. The same way I cannot just go without food or just eat anything is the same way you cannot be a successful Christian if you're not willing to trust in the person of the Holy Spirit. I want to share with you the words of this song by Andrew Crouch. It's called The Blood That Will Never Lose Its Power. It's in reference to the blood of Jesus Christ. And this is what the song says. The blood that Jesus shed for me way back at Calvary, or the blood that gives me strength from day to day, it will never lose its power. It reaches to the highest heaven. It goes to the lowest valley. The blood that gives me strength from day to day, it will never, never lose its power. God bless you.